I write a lot of content online, and if you do too, you understand how time-consuming all of it can be. Each post has a process, like idea generation, outlines, rough drafts, and unlimited edits until you finally have that piece that you're ready to publish. And once you finally have it published, you know you should be posting it to other platforms in different formats, but all of that takes more brain power and time. For example, let's say you just published a blog post on how you used a marketing hack to sell 100 t-shirts in 24 hours. That post could be turned into a tweet, a short form video, or a newsletter, but all of that repurposing takes a bunch of time. So when I came across this tool called Spiral this week, I was pretty excited to try it out. As you can see, uh, their tagline here says, automate 80% of repeat writing, thinking, and creative tasks your voice and style included. So basically it's gonna be able to automate all of these mundane tasks that you have to do when you're writing and it's supposed to do it in your voice and style which is one of the most important parts because most AI tools cannot get this right yet. So in this video, I'll walk through the tool, try it out for four different use cases and see if it can actually do what it says it can. Okay, so on the homepage here, you can see this tool is actually made by Every and Every to my understanding is like a media company. I think they put out like a newsletter every day or a couple times a week all about AI and in the engineering and productivity space. They also have two other tools here. So they have Lex, which looks to be like a Google Docs competitor. So you can collaborate and do a bunch of other cool things uh, with inside of a doc, just like a Google Docs, but with better features. And then they also have Sparkle, which organizes your files automatically with AI. So you have to download it to your actual Mac computer and it will organize all of your files. I could probably use this because my desk desktop is a mess, but maybe I'll make a different video about that. Today's video, we'll just be looking at Spiral. So I'll go ahead and log in here. I'm just gonna be using the free version. You actually get 10 Spirals is what they call it. Spirals is basically like the automation that you can set up. Uh, so you get 10 of those for free. So I won't need any more at the moment, but maybe I'll end up signing up for their paid program. So we're in the tool here. You can see I have nine out of 10 Spirals left. And the interesting part, I think, is that you can look at other people's spirals. So basically, you can see the automations that have already been set up. So it generates every style text suggestions for articles, article link to iMessage friendly summary. That's interesting. You could feed it an article. It'll give you a text summary you could send to friends. YouTube video summarizer in structured format. So it'll summarize a YouTube video for you. All of these are pretty interesting and we're gonna use the public ones later in the video here. But for the first one, I'm gonna go ahead and set up a completely custom one. With this, you're essentially prompt building and it's gonna remember your inputs from before. So you basically have to say what your input is. So you have to give an example. So you have to say, here's an input and here's an example output. So that it can then in the future, when you put in an input, it will know what the output should look like. So for this one, I'm going to be feeding it a rough draft, basically Word doc that I scribbled a bunch of notes in that I use when I'm making a newsletter. So it's just gonna have a bunch of background information on the topic, stats, numbers, things like that. And then I usually use that doc to actually write the first draft of the newsletter and then end up writing the full newsletter from there. So I'm hoping this, I can feed that Google draft to, and it will be able to at least generate that first rough draft that I can start writing off of because every writer knows the worst thing ever is to have a completely blank page. So if it can get you past that, it is actually a lot of the trouble that you're dealing with. I don't know about 80%, but it's a big part of the writing process. So for this, the input format I'm going to say is a Google Doc Notes, and then the output format is going to be newsletter post, because this is just gonna be one section of the newsletter. Go ahead and click next. So enter an example of your Google Docs note. So for this one, I'm actually gonna be using a Google Doc that I've already used and turned into a newsletter. So that way I can show this is the notes that I'm giving you. And then this is what it should look like on the other side. So there's all the notes. And then here's the actual published newsletter that I will go ahead and give to it. Extract patterns. Perfect. So it, it's extracting patterns that it's going to use in this spiral every time. So the tone is casual, conversational, slightly humorous, sarcastic, engaging, and entertaining. Voice is first person plural. So we love rather than I love. Addressing the reader directly. Personality, witty, playful. Style uses short paragraphs and sentences. Perfect. This all looks pretty good. Metaphors or pop culture references to make complex concepts more relatable. I like all of this. And I do like how you can actually come in here and edit this. So if I wanted to say employees, rhetoric, questions, and commentary, 
I could take that out if I wanted to. I'm actually gonna leave it completely as it is to see how this comes out, but you could actually edit this. So if you wanted the, the tone to be like a little bit more sarcastic or a little bit more witty, you could definitely edit that here. So I'm gonna go ahead and create spiral. And now we're ready to go. I actually have another Google Doc for another newsletter that I've written. However, I'm just going to feed it the Google Doc in this scenario and see what it comes out with on the end, see if the newsletter looks similar to the actual newsletter that was published. Both of these are actually similar Google Docs or similar stories. They're both about fraud cases, basically Ponzi schemes or financial crimes. So they're both similar here. So I'm gonna feed the notes here this one has a lot of notes that were pulled directly from an article. So ideally this would be pasting a lot of information from an article and it can actually put it into uh, writing for you. Let's go ahead and run. Okay. So it does take, I don't know, 15 to 20 seconds to actually load, maybe closer to 30 seconds, but this actually looks pretty good. I don't love the, in the conclusion. I never do that in the newsletters. However, I do like how it lists out all of these different things that he spent money on, the reality check, the sales pitch, how it worked. This is a pretty, pretty good start. I don't love, hey there, fraud enthusiast, ready for another tale of financial shenanigans that'll make your head spin faster than centrifuge in a meth lab. What is that? Buckle up because we've got a doozy for you today. I would never write like that. None of my newsletters sound like that. I, this is one of the problems with AI, I think just in general is like you feed it something and you say, Hey, make a joke like this. And then it's what's up, silly goose. It like, it doesn't completely understand humor, but I think this is a great start. Like I could definitely take this, clean it up a bit and it probably wouldn't be too much more work to actually turn this into a decent newsletter. It's definitely better than using just straight up like chat GPT or I've, I've been using perplexity a lot. I think it's definitely a lot better because it's actually taking an example from your past newsletter. So far, I'd say this one's about a seven out of 10. So for the next one, I want to use the public spirals that are already out there and see how those do. So I did find one earlier that converts a newsletter into a series of tweets, which could be super helpful, right? Like you could just post your newsletter in there after you publish it, and then you could use these series of tweets that it will write for you to post on your actual Twitter and basically promote the newsletter. For the sake of this video, I'm actually just gonna use this same newsletter that it just generated for us, and then I'll go over to public spirals. I'm gonna use crafting blog content into punchy tweets. And then I'm gonna go ahead and insert the blog. Now I know we're actually using a newsletter here, but pretty much the same thing. So I'll go ahead and click run. And here it is, chemical coating or money laundering. It likes the emojis, that's for sure. This entrepreneur turned 32.5 million into a $2 million mansion, 3.4 million private jet, a fleet of luxury cars, 60K for dot, dot, dot fish. It's supposed to be a fish tank, I think. Meanwhile, his company made 6,800 in five years. Lesson, if it smells fishy, it probably is. That's not too bad. Like this obviously needs some editing, but it definitely understood that, hey, a tweet should be this long. It probably knows exactly how many characters can be used. I don't love all the emojis, but clearly whoever created this spiral probably told it to use emojis. Again, this isn't awesome. I wouldn't post this necessarily, but I think this is definitely like a starting point. I'd also probably take out the hashtags there. That's part of the, whatever they fed it for a Twitter. But again, I'd give this one like a six out of 10. Now for the next one, I want to use another public one, which is going to be converting a newsletter into a friendly educational short video. So for the sake of the video, again, I'll go ahead and copy the same newsletter that it gave us. Come over to public spirals here. And I'm going to say, video converts newsletters to friendly educational short videos post in the newsletter and run. So it's going to create a script for a short video, not the actual video, but it's going to create the script for that short video for us. So here it is. It looks like it's structured like a pretty good short video. The 32.5 million chemical coding scam open shot creator looking at camera creator. Ever wonder how a chemist turned 32.5 million into 6,800? Stick around for this wild financial fraud story. Transition to point one, creator. Meet Joseph James Jr. Show a picture of him. Founder of Pison Stream Solutions. He claimed to develop a chemical composition for niche markets. Show text on screen, the fraud formula. Here's his recipe for success. Create a fancy company, promise groundbreaking tech, act independently wealthy, take millions, produce nothing. I kind of like this. Like there's more here that I could read on, but I kind of like that. I don't think it's 
like completely ready to be read, but this is a good start. For this one, I actually rate this one probably eight out of 10. This is definitely a good start for a short video. Now I'm not like a genius or master of short form video, but I think it understood that you need to find the shock factor and you need like these punchy hooks when you're writing a short form video like that. So I'd actually give this one about an eight out of 10. Now, the last one that we have here is another public spiral that I'm gonna be using, which is the YouTube video summarizer in structured format. So basically we're just gonna feed it a YouTube video and then it should give us a structured summary of that video. So for the sake of this video, I'm gonna feed it my last video on Napkin AI and my review of it and we'll see what it says. So I just come to public spirals here, type in YouTube, YouTube video summarizer in structured format, paste the link here and run. Did I feed it the right video? Where did this come from? So length 3207, is this the YouTube video I meant to give it? This is weird. Okay, so I just I fed it this video and it says this is a Wall Street Journal video. NVIDIA CEO Jensen Wong's rise to AI dominance full interview. This is a completely different video. Now, I, I'm pretty sure I fed it the right video. Let's go ahead and try this one more time. Run again. NVIDIA CEO. I think we found something that might be broken. So looks like this one might not be working. So still TBD on how it can work for YouTube videos. I'll leave it at that though. Actually, now it's pulling a different one. So now it says title, how I got a high score on the SAT. So clearly it hasn't quite figured out YouTube here. I won't knock it for it. It's still uh, clearly still figuring out YouTube. Maybe it's just best at the purely written stuff. It's not able to pull actual YouTube videos yet. But overall, I do think this thing is pretty cool. I think it can get you probably like 70% of the way there, maybe 60%. But I do think you need to go out, do all your own research, which is a big portion of actually writing. It's basically idea generation and then scripting it and basically coming up with all of the ideas. And then I do think you can actually feed it into this to get a first or rough draft going. Basically, so you're not looking at a blank page. It can give you some sort of format or some sort of structure to go off of. So overall, I think I will be using this. I don't think it's completely changed the game for writing online content yet. But let me know what you think in the comments. Also, if you like this one, happy to review the other products made by Every because I do think it's pretty cool what they're doing, building the media company and then releasing these SaaS tools. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. Peace.